If you're looking to get your California D49 tree service contractor license, one of the most important steps is purchasing your first workers' compensation policy. It can be tricky navigating the ins and outs of workers' comp, especially when you're just starting, but don't worry, we've got you covered. If you're new here, I'm Freddie Servin, and today we're diving into a topic that's super important for California tree service contractors in the process of obtaining their license and that's setting up your first workers comp policy if you're applying for a d49 tree service contractor license without any employees you might think that you don't need workers comp insurance but as of january 1st 2023 in california with or without employees you are required to carry workers comp in order to obtain your license. So first things first, let's talk about ghost workers comp policies. We hear this term thrown around a lot in the industry. So what are ghost policies? These policies are designed for contractors with no employees, but there are some important conditions to keep in mind. Number one is subcontractor cost limits. Your policy may have specific limits on subcontractor costs. So if you're hiring subcontractors, make sure you understand these limits because exceeding them can cause big problems during an audit or in some cases can result in a cancellation of your policy. Number two is certificates of insurance. Always main, maintain COIs for subcontractors. If you hire a subcontractor and they don't have workers comp in place, you could still be held liable as a primary contractor. So it's important to make sure that there's proper and coverage in place. And number three is audit surprises. Ghost workers comp policies are subject to audits. If your paperwork isn't in order and you don't complete an audit, you could be hit with an audit non-compliance fee, which could be upwards of 25 or 50 percent or we've seen it as high as 100% of the expiring premium for ignoring any audit requests. And if you hire employees but fail, fail to report them, you could face penalties and higher premiums. Always report any changes in your business operations to your insurance broker to avoid these issues. The marketplace for zero payroll workers comp policies in California is incredibly tight. This is because many insurers are cautious about issuing these policies due to the higher risk of non-compliance and fraud it makes it even more necessary for you to get the right policy the first time now here's what an independent insurance broker comes in now i might be biased as an independent insurance broker but there's no substitutions for professional advice we understand contractors workers comp and can help you navigate these challenges and find the right policy for your needs we know the market the pitfall the pitfalls to avoid and how to ensure you stay compliant with state regulations so if you're ready to take the next steps and getting your California tree service license, reach out to us for a quote. We'll help you find the best workers comp policy so you can focus on building your business without the hassle. Click the link in the description box below or give us a call today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tips on growing your business. See you next time.